with Dave. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Play with Dave and welcome back to Subnautica. I think in this episode, what I'm going to be doing first, I want to listen to the radio. This is Aurora. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. That's a lot of nines. But at least they're coming. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... Later on, we're gonna get transmissions from other life pods, like they said. And, um, that's where I'm gonna find a lot of blueprints for stuff. And the other way I'm gonna find blueprints for stuff is just through basic exploration. And until I get better means transportation, it's going to be rather slow. So I'm going to be cutting in and out for sure for this. Um, but I promise you're not going to miss out on anything. Like something cool happens, you're going to see it. So as I look around for things, just bear with me. Okay, so for the bladder fish, all I had to do was go to the fucking fabricator it was in there it just turns the fish into filtered water so isn't that nice fucking science uh glass i don't think i need glass right now but i need to get some titanium out of the metal salvage oh god it's getting dark oh boy now eventually you can get like a heated knife and when you kill the fish, it instantly cooks them. So that's pretty neat. But I think it has like a limited lifespan. I'll get another one of you later. I mean, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and grab you now since there's so many of you. And just make a stockpile of some water since I used it all. How are these power cells doing? It's down, well, it's a solar power cell and it's getting dark, so it's down to one. I see, I see. I guess I'll venture out in the darkness and hope for the best. Oh my god, it's so scary. I mean, it's neat because it's all like glowy and shit, but it's also so fucking scary. <laughs> I love swimming. And I love open water. But cut it, I mean, cut tree pine with knife okay there we are <laughs> but well, yeah diving down deep where it's hard to see and you don't know what the fuck is down there that's scary to me because we know a lot about what's outside of our planet we don't we know a little we don't know a super whole lot but we know that there are other planets other than ours but what the fuck are you oh it's one of you yeah I need your teeth for something eventually but I don't want to mess with you right now hey buddy I don't have anything... He likes metal. What the fuck? He's all like just... Swimming upside down and shit. I've never seen him act like that before, but I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna get back in my pod and away from him. Hey, 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 hey. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I need eyes on him. Ooh. Okay. And we fucking go. And we fucking go. Bingo. Huh. That sucked. <laughs> fiber mesh. Strong natural fiber. Comfy. Okay. 
Oh, I can make my own first aid kits from here instantly. With the fiber mesh. That's pretty cool. Is there anything else? Like... I don't see anything. Floating air pump, pipe, fire extinguisher. I've got the fence, don't I? I thought I made the fence. How do I? Yeah, I got the fence. But I don't have whatever else is up there for my equipment. I don't know how to make that happen either. But we'll figure it out. I don't want to eat you. And I can't make any more. So, do I have a, I have a message? This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, so they mentioned the sea glide, and that's one of the things that I was talking about that I need in order to like get around faster for things to get a lot easier. So... I think if I go there... I think there might be things for me to scan to get the sea glide. And that would be awesome. So where is it? It said location. Oh, is it that? It's got to be that. Okay, so we're just going to swim over here. We're going to say fuck it and we're going to swim over here. Okay, going down. There they are. They didn't make it. Okay, so, yeah, Sea Glide Fragment. If I scan that. Boom. Halfway there. There's two of them. Where's the other one? Is it inside the pod? Open data box. I got a compass. That'll help. Eventually. <laughs> Banded PDA download. Okay, I'll check that out when I'm not underwater. I need to find that fucking sea glide part though. Where could it be? I need oxygen. Huh? Oh, is it another one of those things? I thought I saw a shadow swim by. Maybe not. Alright. Where the fuck is it? Oh, there's just something here. Ah. Warning. Local Copper. radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drag core has reached critical state. Yeah, he is here. Quantum Look at that fuck. The stalker, that's what he's called. Come here, let me skin you. the fuck it is the seat light gave me one obvious part ooh 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 no it's metal savage fuck <laughs> now I can equip that and maybe get the uh, Stalker tooth. Get him to bite it. Where the fuck is this part? You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell I rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Huh. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Geological data. Environment scan. Digital slides falling on the stalker. Yeah. <laughs> He's kinda derpy looking from the side. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. It's happening right now. Oh shit. I'm too far away. I'm too far away. Oh no. Fuck. I was awfully close to that. I don't have a radiation suit. It's gonna get. I'm gonna get irradiated. Oh fuck! Uh, it gave me a blueprint for it, but fuck, I'm in trouble. Oh shit! My pod's over here. I was just trying to swim away from the ship. Radiation suit. I've got the fiber mesh already. I just need lead. Where am I gonna find me some lead? Ooh, he's got that sickness. It's crazy that you're already seeing signs of it. So that's kind of what the problem is with this planet. That bacteria that the computer was talking about. What? Oh shit. He picked up the thing. He, he did the thing. Is there a tooth somewhere now? Because he picked up the metal. Brick sandstone. I got something. I don't know where that piece of metal went. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. Y yes. I'll try yes, them again please. tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Okay. The fucking subtitles got behind the audio there. Oh well. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. Bingo. I, I kinda I had to cheat. I didn't uh I had to go and look that up. Oh look. Look at this, grab trap. There's two of those. Is this the other one? I know what this is. I know what this does. It's a cool little thing. But so I had to look up where the uh, other part was. Uh, when I said that it was in the kelp forest, turned out the one at the life pod is the kelp forest one and so I had to look up where this other part was because I was like I was like where's the kelp forest and I was like well it's right here and then I was like well where's other people getting the other part and the first one I looked at this guy was like it's like his escape pod was all the way over there mine's all the way over here for some reason so I had to line myself up roughly with where he was and then find this wreckage and right there it was. Yeah, I finally get to make a sea glide. So in order to make this, I need Let's see. It's a it's a machine. It's one of those deployable lubricant, battery, copper wire, titanium. Ah, easy peasy. I've got all that shit. Ooh, I 
I can make a graph trap too. Those are easy to make. What am I missing? Oh, the copper wire. Where, where did I put that? There we go. Yay! Come to me, baby! The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For I your know. safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. I heard that. Alright, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Um, we finally got the sea glide. We made some accomplishment. I mean, it took me forever to do. And I figured, you know, like I said, I even though I've seen somebody, two people actually play this game, it's a lot different when you're actually doing it yourself. And I knew there was going to be a lot of stumbling and fumbling around. But um, I can make progress. It's just going to take a little bit. And that's what I'm saying. I don't know if you want to see all the fumbling around or... Yeah, that needs to be a hot slot. Yes, it does. Okay. There we go. And we'll put all this stuff in storage. I need to drink some, though. There we go. Okay. So, yeah. Um, still trying to figure out how I'm going to do these episodes. And, um, you know... Hopefully we'll get like a good formula going, how I want to do it, what I want to show, you know, not be too uninteresting and boring and only play important shit. Before we go, let's, let's try this bad boy out. Yeah, that is so much better. Whee, it's battery powered, so I got to make more batteries, I think, to run it. Yeah, that's awesome. So, um, I think, I don't know what I want to do for the next one. Um, I definitely need to find another piece of lead so I can make the suit. That way we can go aboard the Aurora at some point. I'm getting a lot of med kits, so that's good. I could probably, I could also start making a base. Um, I think you need the fabricator, is there? I don't know what it's called scanner repair tool flashlights from a knife pathfinder tool no habitat builder that's what it is fabricates habitat fabricates habitat compartments and appliances from raw materials a uh, computer chip and a wiring kit i just figured out recently how to do a wiring kit which is silver ore so I'm sure a wiring kit is probably going to take... I mean, I'm sure a computer chip is probably going to take one of these wiring kits. So I'm going to end up having to make two of them. So if I find silver, i got to try to remember that I need four. But we'll go over that later. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching this episode. I'll be back later with another video. I hope to see you there. My name is Dave, and I am the One Man Ray. See ya!